For this, uh, we're now joined by Siswet Tele, Sanko KwaZulu Natal Provincial Secretary, and he joins us via our video link. Siswet, thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, this evening uh, here on SABC News. I mean, uh, one would say that you've made your stance uh, pretty clear when it comes uh, to the decisions which have uh, been taken by former President Jacob Zuma, and uh, you will support whichever party uh, he decides uh, to support and campaign for, uh, of course, if it does not uh, interfere with the processes of Sanko. Good evening, Tembe, and good evening to your viewers. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Of course, uh, SAMCO is a constitutional organization. Whatever we do, we have to be uh, within the ambit of the constitution of SAMCO. Uh, in terms of the constitution of SAMCO, Rule 5A.8, .A, uh, which talks about uh, the membership as to who could be a member of SAMCO, it's clear that uh, anyone irrespective of the political if affiliation, can be a member of SANCO. So in that way, it means a uh, comrade Jacob Zuma can be a member of SANCO in spite of him uh, also being a member of the MK party. So uh, even though it is not something that we celebrate, but we have to act within the ambit of the constitution. Mm. And one would say and ask, you know, uh, despite uh, this move by the former president, uh, Jacob Zuma, does the ANC still enjoy uh, the support of Sanko? Yes, definitely. The ANC still enjoys the support of Sanko. Remember, uh, Comrade Jacob Zuma is one individual, he's one uh, a South African citizen, so he's not Sanko. Uh, in the last national conference, which took place of, uh, between the 24th and the 26th of November 2023, just last month, which was addressed by the president of the ANC, President uh, Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa. Also, it was addressed by the Secretary General of the ANC, Comrade Phil Mbalula. We did uh, take a resolution or reaffirm our old resolution that Sanko is not only going to vote, but it is going to physically campaign for the ANC. However, there is one uh, provision that we put in the conference that this time around we are not giving the ANC a blank check. It's yeah. part of our resolution. To, yeah. In the past, we've been just voting for the ANC, mm. and when the ANC has to uh, do strategic deployments, and then they will forget about Sanko. And this is the same thing that we've seen happening here in the in the province of KwaZulu Natal. That already the province of KwaZulu Natal seems to be forgetting Sanko when it comes to uh, strategic deployments, in spite of the ANC guidelines clearly stating that when the ANC is doing uh, uh, is implementing the deployments, it must consider all its alliance partners. But Sanko is being unfairly excluded. Yeah, and one would also ask, uh, you know, going back to the issue of former President Jacob Zuma and uh, ask that, uh, you know, we've seen uh, this pandemonium. What do you make of it as Sanko? Uh, because now you've just been put into uh, that uh, terrain uh, when it comes uh, to us heading towards these 2024 elections. Do you understand why uh, there is an uproar uh, with the former president, uh, you know, deciding to take the decision he has taken? Look, as Sanko, we, uh, we appreciate the delicacy of this matter. What we've said is even if uh, the constitution of Sanko allowed us to charge President Zuma uh, for what he has done in terms of publicly endorsing uh, another part, we were going to deal with this matter, uh, showing that we understand as to how sensitive it is. Look at how the ANC has reacted up to yeah. this far. The ANC, in its time, is analyzing uh, this matter because Zuma is not just an ordinary man. He has been a member of ANC for more than 62 years. Out of those uh, 62 years, 48 years of them, he spent them being a National Executive Committee member. Also, 10 of those years, he was the president of the ANC. He contested for two terms, and he image victorious in both of them. In the history of the ANC, Comrade Jacob Zuma is the only one 
who has managed to do that. So when you're dealing with a, a leader of, of that station, you need to be careful. You don't have to take a rash decision. So, but in this particular case, it is indeed unfortunate that Comrade Jacob Zuma has done or has taken the decision that he has taken. It's not only unfortunate with uh, Comrade Jacob Zuma, it's also an unfortunate thing with the rest of the MK soldiers who had to resort to open up their uh, MK parts. Those are ANC comrades. We are uh, begging the ANC, pleading uh, with the ANC to listen to the plight of those comrades. Because we as Sanko, uh, one of the objectives is to uh, uh, champion uh, the, the challenges of the poorest of the poor. As a result, we are pleading with the ANC to say, these comrades have opened up this particular part because they've got issues. They, 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 they are poverty-stricken, they are hungry, they are jobless. So instead of fighting them and ridiculing them as Comrade Begim Dolo of the ANC in KZN was doing, as Sanko, we are against that. We are saying we cannot uh, ridicule our own people who are poverty-stricken. As the ANC has previously analyzed this, this triple challenge of poverty, joblessness, and inequality. So it means there is a challenge. The ANC needs to get closer to Comrade Jacob Zuma because most of the challenges that he articulated on the 16th of December are the challenges which are happening at a national level, not at a provincial level. Of course, Comrade Jacob Zuma, uh, as far as the ANC is concerned, is a national figure, not a provincial figure. So his matter uh, must be dealt with at a national level. We really back the ANC. We have been trained by the ANC uh, in this country, all of us, that you cannot, you can never fail to try, you can never fail uh, to engage and to communicate. And we believe that if they can even address these challenges, probably this MK part yeah. uh, will die uh, 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 as easy as possible. Mm. And But their challenges must be heard and be spoken to. And I'm putting you on the spot here, and I mean, I mean, you're speaking a lot here about uh, the position of former President Jacob Zuma and the MK party, and I'm sure uh, maybe he's communicated this to you. Do you think that he's open to still having a conversation with the mother body, with the ANC, to try and find a solution where it seems as if they are not meeting each other? Comrade Jacob Zuma himself has trained us to always engage and keep engaging the fact that he articulated those reasons it means he wanted us to know about them and then come up with a solution we as much as i cannot speak of on his behalf of course yeah. but understanding he is a leader uh, that he is i we we are convinced that if the leadership of the anc can genuinely try to engage with him uh, maybe something might come out of that because Losing a leader of uh, Comrade Jacob Zuma Station is, of course, a huge loss to, 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 to the ANC and to a lot of other people of South Africa who wish for the ANC to continue being a, a governing party because we believe that it's only the ANC that can totally liberate the people of this country.